My Voron V0 has had a Pico MMU for coming up on two months now, and I never actually got it to work properly, mostly because it needs a filament sensor. And I had a, a CNC Sherpa Mini extruder on my Voron, and that doesn't have a filament sensor built in, so I had to try and attach one, found some designs online, printed them, but they often ended up breaking. Then I tried to modify one, and that broke too. And now I've just given up on the CNC Sherpa Mini, and I'm switching back to a printed Sherpa Mini that has a built-in filament sensor. So the V0 is getting a pretty big refresh. I figured that since the printer was going to be down for a bit, I would make all the changes that I've been thinking about doing and considering. Uh, but never actually gone through it. So, enjoy. The extruder is again a design that I found on printables. It uses a 4mm ball bearing and a micro switch for the filament sensor. Other than that, it's just the standard uh, Sherpa mini build of materials. So, the plan for today is to reorganize all of this absolute mess of wires. That is my Voron V0's electronics bay. Uh, I also want to add a 5 volt power supply to this printer, but I I don't know if I'm going to do that now or if I'll do that at a later date, but I do know for a fact that I need to extend the stepper motor wires on these two stepper motors because that's what I've been avoiding doing for ages. And that's the entire reason why my Pico is in such a weird spot, and then the Raspberry Pi is down here. It's just like a very different layout than you'll see anyone else do. It's just because I didn't want to extend these wires because I was worried about messing them up and having to buy new stepper motors. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to switch over to time lapse, and uh, I'll switch back to regular video if I need to. looking. I switched it to a much more traditional V0 uh, electronics bay layout with the Pico MMU on one side, the Raspberry Pi on the other side. I don't know if people usually do it in this way or the opposite, but 
with the power cable on the Pi being here, it's really annoying to have it directly against the side. So I prefer the Pi on the right side. Um, I've started some of the wiring, but it's it's gonna need more work. I also need to figure out where I'm gonna put my canvas board. Um, I kind of am tempted to use these two screw holes, but I don't know if they're actually the right size. Roughly checking by eye, they look correct, but I don't know. The other alternative is I make a proper mount for the DIN rail, but I think I'd have to like elevate it somehow. Otherwise it's gonna interfere with this uh, USB-C cable for the Raspberry Pi. And then the, the third option would be mounting it up here on this bar. Um, and then I was also gonna add a Raspberry Pi camera but I found out that my cable for it is literally 10 centimeters too short. Or not, not even 10 centimeters, like five centimeters too short. That's really, really annoying, but whatever. I'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited with the, how it's looking. It's a lot cleaner than before. Before it was just pure chaos and I hated having to change anything back here or really even look at it very much. I just kept the door closed and ignored it all. I also have the the piece of the skirt that's supposed to go here uh, and I'll probably add it back in down here. I don't know if that was on camera. Um, yeah, I'm going to add that back in because that also has a the ethernet pass through and a USB pass through and it just really makes the printer look that little bit extra that little bit more professional uh which is nice and then eventually or after this and after I finish tuning the the new print head with the new extruder then it's time for the pico so a couple steps left but slowly getting there so I made a bit of a mistake uh, and closed everything up and didn't film how it looked. Uh, and I also didn't film the last part where I was adding the little canvas board in, but it's all in. I already had this board or this printed part uh, that's back here for the canvas board and I just only used the bottom two screws for the canvas board. It's mounted well enough. And like this, it gives much better access to all the wires. And importantly, I have access to the camera port on the Raspberry Pi so that when the longer cable for the camera arrives, I can plug that in no problem. The wires but the motors are all set up. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all how they were before. I double checked with the video that I made earlier today and everything looks the same. So hopefully I got all of that right. I do still need to connect the servo for the Pico MMU, but I think that's about it. I'm a bit frustrated because I can't get my, oh, sorry. Uh, I can't get this to fit in the bottom of the Voron with the skirt piece that goes here. Um, it just doesn't have enough space in between the Z motor and the skirt to route the cable and not destroy it. So that's a bit annoying. So for now, I'll just leave the skirt off and then... Maybe at some point I'll design a custom one or figure something out. Maybe I could do a side exit over here, but I don't think that would really save me any space because this is the big problem. I should really see if I can switch this to the left side. Maybe I can just invert it. I actually don't see why I can't. Uh, I might do that. 
and I would like to get a foot that doesn't have the filament sensor because I'm not using this anymore and the filament sensor takes up space and in a Voron V0 there is no space I need the space so yeah but overall I'm pretty happy with it it's much much cleaner than it was before and I, I still have to power it on actually might as well do that now I'm gonna have to set this down All right, one hand it is. All right, never mind. Okay, I got the power cable in. First boot. Everything should be right. Good. It's gonna take a minute to boot up. I have a I have a pretty long boot time. I don't really know what if anything I can do to shorten it. I also don't super care at the end of the day. Can this stupid thing stay in place? Whatever. That's frustrating me now um oh lights are on that's a good sign Should have filmed it, but there was a bunch of homing issues where uh, it was homing inverted, and then my first thought was instantly to swap the connectors for the A and B motors. Uh, but turned out that it was I just needed to invert both motors, so now it's working. I got the NSOPs uh, set up. I removed the screw here because it it lines the nozzle up much better with the edge of the bed, and that's all I care about in terms of where this end stop is. I want the nozzle as close to the edge of the bed as possible. Um, yeah. So it should be ready to print ish. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep working on this right now, if I'm going to switch the Elegoo and finally swap out the Pico on that or the Pico mount on that. But we'll see. I mean, you guys will see in the next clip, so see you there. So the V0 is printing. It's a little bit hard to see with the reflections. I don't really know how else to show it. Uh, but it's printing with a new extruder on it. So I have to adjust the bed leveling and I need to readjust my end stop positions because it thinks it's centered right now. And looking, or judging by the position of the bed and where the print is, something's clearly off there. So I gotta check that. So I got the longer ribbon cable for the Pi Cam. And of course, before it was too short, and now I have a massive one. Um, I'll be honest, I. I did choose to not get the 30 mil the 30 centimeter one because I wanted a 40 centimeter one just in case the 30 didn't reach and uh they don't sell a 40 so I did get a 50 um so it is on me but whatever I just gotta plug it in and then the the V0 will be ready to go I also want to unload the filament really quick so that I can cut this tube a little bit and then, I mean, the Pico needs a bunch of testing, but that's not the priority right now. I am very happy with how the cables are looking. Much cleaner than they were before. 
hopefully the pie cam fits in well. And there's no problems with the bar. If you have any questions about the Voron V0, let me know and I'll answer them in the next video. I have a few videos lined up for this printer already and I'm excited to share them with you guys. I'll see you then.